I'm Jonathan Brochi. I work for the Kremble, which is part of University Health Network. Um, we've recently received funding from Parkinson Canada to work on the repositioning or the reuse of an old drug that's been used for decades to treat malaria. We've got some interesting information and some great ideas, I believe, to take this old malaria drug and transfer its use to, to Parkinson's disease. The exciting thing, I think, about this project is that it's one of the best opportunities we have to rapidly get a, a, a drug to patients that could actually slow the degeneration of neurons in Parkinson's disease. So it's potentially one of those first uh, drugs that might be partly at least a cure. The project that we've been funded to, uh, to undertake has some very specific deliverables. Um, essentially what we're trying to do is in the best animal model that we have available today uh, demonstrate this compound, this drug, has the capability to slow the disease progression. The whole of the clinical trial process is long and really expensive and also very, very difficult to get right. The project that we have here is actually playing a very special role in the drug development process. There are many opportunities out there for new drugs for Parkinson's. What we have to do is prioritise those that are most likely to work. It's very, very difficult to get the funding to do those sorts of things. They're complicated experiments, there's a high uh, risk of failure. Of course, if it was easy to develop drugs for Parkinson's, we'd have hundreds of great drugs out there. We don't, it's a, it's a, difficult, it's a difficult process. Yeah, hope is really important for people with Parkinson's. Hope is really important for researchers who are striving towards better treatments for Parkinson's. I remember many years ago now, a very close friend of mine, a guy, same age as me, who has Parkinson's, uh, telling me, John, uh, there's no such thing as false hope. And I think that's really true in Parkinson's. Hope is the glue that binds the whole drug development process together with the hope of the patients wanting the treatments, the hope of the scientists wanting to deliver them. Without hope, drug development just doesn't happen. Donors play a really critical part in our drug development process. We have some great ideas. By funding the research that we do, we take an idea and we're able to evaluate whether it has real promise, uh, whether the hope we have for it today will lead into benefits for patients and people with Parkinson's generally in, in, in the future. I just have to say thank you to Parkinson's Canada and to the donors that support their work.